Black's RT blog, date April 1st, 2009. Okay, April Fool's Day, um, quite the appropriate time. <laughs> um, before I start off, there is one badge I forgot to show you. Uh, I already showed you my Loki badge, um, it was back there somewhere. Yeah, I did show you the Loki badge in my FWA videos, but there is one badge I forgot to show. Uh, this is my new Spike badge. Um, this was done by, um, uh, who was it, uh, Pandora, uh, I think that was the name. Um, I'd like to thank him for this, it's, it's really nice, I really love, um, and how he reacts to the cookies. Um, but this video is going to be, um, I'm going to be answering uh, some comments and questions that have been posted on, um, my FWA videos and in my emails. Okay, um, we'll start with the first video, um, called Take a Whack. Um, I gotta get these three comments in. First one, I'm, uh, Origami Griffin, and it says, Poor John Stripefer, no wonder his back was killing him. What was wrong with his back? <laughs> well, uh, if you remember in the video, um, I had told, uh, Zorn Fox to do a replay of, um, when he whacked, uh, John Stripe in the, uh, the lower section. Um, I, um, I don't know if he told me about that back injury. I don't know what that was from. Uh, but John Stripes first said, nah, the back injury was just a freak accident. Though it seems at every convention I go to, I get injured. I'm fine now. And uh, Smudo Rooney, who is uh, Zorn Fox, by the way, said, yay for evidence of ball whacking. Now, um, John Stripefer, believe it or not, was not the only one that got whacked with that pool noodle in his lower section. I actually got hit in the lower section two times. Um, trying to figure out who was the first one that did it. It was either, I think it was either Zorin or John Stripe, one of those two. And uh, the second one by um, another friend. Um, but it wasn't that bad. It was actually, um, well, I'm not going to go into that. Um, Alright, next up, uh, it was in my second video, uh, from Dutchy Husky, it says, Captain Jack Sparrow is really amazing. Looks very real, doesn't he? Well, I guess you could say uh, he looks real. <laughs> um, but yeah, he does work at Disney, um, but, yeah, the first time I seen him was like at, um, Anthrocon. Because I see him at the dance competition. Um, he did not participate in, in this one. Um, yeah, but the last time I had, I had seen him, he was also with Beetlejuice, who was, who did not make an appearance. <laughs> Some surprise. Because <laughs> he's, he's usually every convention I go to, but not this time. Um, but, yeah, I would say he looks real. Um... Here, here's uh, a couple from my view um, video from Ephenerm, if, um is spelled E P H E M E R A L anonymous. <laughs> I don't know how to say that. Uh, he was asking, "Why are you naked?" Well, I had already said that in the videos and the comments. Um, I was cooling off from fursuiting. Um, I had to do a little bit of editing because there are some parts that. Um, uh, I felt was a little, a little bit too much to see, uh, so I tried to get from like the from the shoulders up. Okay, um, and he followed up with, "Could you just pretend to be naked for me?" Moving on, um, this is at the Game Preserve um, video. Um, I believe this is uh, with uh, um, this is from John Striper. He was asking. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, he was, he was uh, commenting, uh, he did not ask. Uh, it was, a uh, you missed the part where the coon super kicked me with some sweet chin music. Now, you would have to watch WWE to, to get that one. Um, I had shown the, his shirt, uh, Degeneration X, uh, I'm trying to say that right. Um, one of my favorite tag teams in wrestling. I wonder if uh, he also did Pedigree. I would love to see that. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately, I didn't. I didn't get that. 
because I'm moving all around the continent. I can only be in one place. Um, the glow ring guy, uh, there was a couple that were telling me uh, who he actually was. Uh, Kaya Softpaw said that's Reek Kario, the squirrel. But uh, there was a correction from uh, Korok saying that's Rikan... Rikan... Rikanis. Um, <laughs> you gotta help you out with that one. <laughs> um, so, so that's who he was. <laughs> yeah, I've seen him quite a few times uh, at each of the cons I've been to. Um, following up uh, with... Uh, uh, which video was this? Uh, I know which video it was, but I can't remember the name of it. You'll find out. Uh, from Merkine, sir. Um, he, uh, it says, Is my good friend Saberclaw. I made that suit for him last year. I feel that I should have done better on it, though. I thought it looked good. Um, I don't, um... He, he was, uh, when I saw him, uh, I was trying to get him to recognize me, because the first time I saw him was at my very first Furcon in Raleigh, North Carolina, uh, back in December 1st, 2007. Um, yeah, at first he didn't quite recognize me, but then I was trying to uh, talk with him, uh, see where he was at, and then he finally did recognize me, and he was, he was happy. Um, next one from Free Kaina says, um, LOL Rikani's. Too bad nobody got the video of him. When he stumbled into the artist alley, drunk off his ass, and commissioned me for a badge. Funny guy. Now, now, even though I didn't get that, I would, I would love to imagine what that's like. <laughs> I would like to have my persona, drink some beer, and jerk it off. <laughs> Um, then we move on to the dance competitions, um, we got a little I am here, get that out of the way. Um, <laughs> there's a couple here, uh, from, um, PK Dibun and Rydell382, um, each of them said, epic success, nice feeling, but it was too dark for my camera. The other one said to try feeling this, but it's too dark for my camera. Yeah, it was dark in there. Um, 